if you want to create your own repeating patterns in Canva, there are two easy ways to do it. What you want to do first is find an image that you like and just kind of set the size and copy and paste it as many times as you like. Um, you don't have to worry about the space in between your elements, but just kind of figure out the general spacing. So maybe if you want things that far apart, um, you know, space it accordingly. Um, I might put these a little bit closer together. Try to get another, yeah, another two in there. So as you can see, the spacing is a little bit wonky right now, and I'm just going to go ahead and click and select all, and then do position tidy up. And from here, I'm just going to go ahead and group this whole set of elements together now in a row that is free to move about as a whole. So now I'm going to copy this entire group, paste, paste, paste. I've got another two in there. One and two. Um, maybe I'll even do another one. And now what I want to do is set the position of the start and the finish position. So what I'm going to do is just going to bump this down and bump this one up. You can kind of see that the um, guideline shows up. The pink guideline will indicate that it's like the halfway point of that element. And from here, what I can do now is again, position tidy up after I've selected all. And you could totally leave it like this and then just kind of adjust as you need based on like the start and end position. Um, and what you could also do is kind of offset it a little bit. So I'm just going to select this uh, group and then I would bump it over, you know, so that like this bear's nose is in line with this halfway point kind of. And I could pretty much do the same thing here. I'm just shifting that over and shift click and line elements left. They're already perfect. And as you can see, I just need to do, I'm going to copy paste just so that I get one more little element in there. Paste, get that last one in there and my pattern is complete. Same idea here for working with a bunch of different characters. I'm just copying and pasting and lining everything up. And because I can see that there are some characters in this illustration that are standing and others that are sitting, I think that's how I'm going to alternate this particular pattern. So what I will do is, let's just space it out like this. And same deal. There we go. Another cover is finished. The second way to create your own patterns in Canva is to search for a pattern using words like tiling or seamless. And as you will see, these images are perfectly designed to line up end to end to create really beautiful seamless results. So let me just change this color so that you can see. Let me just copy paste and 
these beautifully line up to create a seamless pattern. So I can just kind of copy paste and repeat that as desired and then kind of resize it to fit. And then group, copy paste and repeat. And there we have a fully tiled uh, cover. As you can see, the alignment is a little bit off based on like top to bottom alignment. And there we go. Now it's perfectly centered and ready to publish. Both of these options are great for creating so many different kinds of designs and even print on demand products, including the covers of your own notebooks and journals to publish on Amazon KDP, like the one shown in this video. I intentionally excluded this kind of content from that video on creating a composition notebook um, because I thought it would be too tedious to show you, but thank you for letting me know that you really wanted to see the step-by-step -step process in its entirety. Also, if you want a super simple way to create repeating patterned elements for book covers with a simple click, check out this BookBolt tutorial.